The island of Hawaii is home to one of the most active volcanoes in the world, Kilauea. In March 2018, Kilauea volcano was erupting in two places. At the summit, since 2008, and at Pu'u'o'o since 1983. In mid-March, USGS scientists observed increased pressure of the magma system beneath Pu'u'o'o. This caused the crater floor of Pu'u'o'o to rise. At the same time, Kilauea Summit also went through a period of increased inflation. On April 26, the lava lake overflowed onto Halima'uma'u crater floor at the summit. On April 30th, the crater floor of Pu'u'o'o collapsed. Later, scientists determined this ended the 35-year Pu'u'o'o eruption. Two days after the collapse at Pu'u'o'o, the summit lava lake began to drop. After the collapse of Pu'u'o'o, a series of earthquakes indicated that magma was intruding in the middle and lower east rift zone. On May 3, 2018, the first fissure opened along the lower east rift zone in a residential subdivision called Leilani Estates. Between May 3rd and May 6th, 10 fissures opened in the lower east rift zone. By May 15th, the number of fissures increased to 20. On May 19th, lava flows moved toward the ocean to the southeast. On May 29th, vigorous lava flows from Fisher 8 began to move northeast toward Kapoho Bay. Over the next two months, lava from Fissure 8 continued to flow towards the ocean, creating a large lava delta. This delta and other ocean entries added 875 acres of new land to the island of Hawaii. As the summit subsided and adjusted to withdrawal of magma, powerful collapse events felt as earthquakes grew more frequent. Collapse events occurred as magma drained from the summit reservoir to the new eruption, and gas was trapped beneath the surface by rockfall debris. This caused the ground above to become less supported and stressed. On average, every 28 hours, the ground at the summit collapsed. 
In May, these collapse events were often accompanied by plumes of ash. By June, the caldera floor began to rapidly collapse. dramatically changing the summit landscape throughout June and July. From May through August, over 60,000 earthquakes rocked the summit with 62 major collapse events. As a result, the depth of Halemaumau Crater increased from 280 feet to approximately 1,600 feet and the diameter more than doubled. By early August, the volume of lava erupting from Fissure 8 began to decrease, and the earthquakes at the summit returned to normal levels. After months of no activity, scientists determined the eruption was over. Lava flows covered 13.7 square miles of land. Over 700 homes were destroyed and approximately 2,000 people were displaced. Please be respectful as you explore the park and the island of Hawaii. Use only open trails and roads. Stay out of closed areas.